welcome to Feathercast. My name is Rich Bowen. And today I'm speaking with Bertrand Delacreta, who is coincidentally also the author of the music that you heard at the beginning of this podcast, who will be telling us about the Sling Project. Welcome and thank you for taking time to do this. Hey, you're welcome, Rich. Apache Sling, according to the website, is a framework for RESTful web applications based on extensible content tree. I was wondering if you could translate that for us. Tell us what that means. Who would use something like this and what, what does it do? Right, so, so Sling is, a, I would say, yet another Java web framework. There's many of them, uh, which started more than 10 years ago, actually. I think it's been almost 11 years now. Uh, at the time, there were already too many Java web frameworks, <laughs> so it's another one. Uh, but it started by being a web layer for Apache Jackrabbit and Oak, which was the Apache JC, the Java JCR, Java Content Repository uh, API to, to uh, store content and retrieve and do full text search and everything. So it's really oriented toward creating content management uh, applications. And that's, that's how we started using it. It was donated to Apache by Day Software, who was my employer at the time, uh, uh, and was doing a, a content management, large scale, industrial scale, I would say, content management system. And that's where it comes from. It's uh, one of this, one of its uh, strong points is that it's extremely modular. It's based on the OSGI module system. So you can replace pretty much everything if you don't like it or want a different variant, you can replace any component. We have uh, more than 300 Git, rep Git repositories in the Sling project, which is unusual, but it's, it's due to the, to the extreme modularity. And each, each module has its own repository then? Yep, that's the, so it, uh, 11 years ago we were on Subversion, and when we moved to Git, the question was, do we do a monorepo, do we do a, many of them? Mm -hmm. And it, we did many of them, and it's been working pretty well because some of these modules are really core things that you know are really golden, you have to be very careful. Others are just contributions that we we update on a best effort basis. So it's, it's kind of very nice to have this different shape, you know, to have lots of modules, lots of repositories, and then each of them can live its own life. I, I don't know if you have an answer to this since it was donated from, a, from an external company, but what's the origin of the name? Oh yeah, I do have an answer. <laughs> um, so it's from the it's on the Sling website actually. Uh, it was proposed by Roy Fielding. So Roy is one of our colleagues. He was uh, he was chief scientist of Day Software at the time. That was his title, and he explained. He said that the name is biblical in nature. It's based on the story of David who uh, used the sling, a weapon, to slay the giant Goliath. <laughs> and, um, our our CTO uh, David Nuschler, who was CTO of this software at the time, uh, is called David, obviously. So he said that's our David's uh, favorite weapon. <laughs> and All right. A sling, yeah, and a sling is a is the simplest device for delivering content very fast. That's okay. Kind of the idea. So yeah, there there is a story behind the name. When a project is this this uh, mature, it's been around this long. It's often a challenge for people to figure out, you know, when it's when it's feature complete, how does right. somebody get involved? What sort of opportunities are there for for people to get involved in this project? Actually, it's it's surprisingly dynamic given given the project's age. Uh, there's a conference. There's been a yearly conference in Berlin uh, called Adapt Two, which is another joke because the we have, a, we have a method in Sling called adapt to, to adapt a component to being, an object to being something else, which is abused a lot. So they named the conference adapt to. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's a yearly conference around Sling. And I was surprised uh, even last year after 10 years that there's still lots of innovation going on in terms of adapting Sling to the cloud environment, because uh, okay. 11 years ago, it was definitely not cloud. Uh, which has some, you know, different uh, constraints, improving the performance, making things easier, adapting to to the, to the evol evolving ways of doing things. So there, there's there's lots of possibilities for, uh, uh, for example, Sling uses uh, scripts for rendering pages and that stuff, 
which used to be stored alongside the content in the, the in the content repository in the database if you mm -hmm. want and now we're going more towards having them in 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 osgi bundles so as uh, you know in, in in jar files in the code and that's that should be easy but there's always the, the theory and the practice so there's there's lots of work going on around that I'm currently working on a GraphQL interface uh, for for the content, so there's uh, there, there's there's quite a lot to do actually. And, and because it's very modular, you can work on something in your you know in your own corner, so to say, mm -hmm. and still be be making good contributions without necessarily understanding the details of the core. Where does your community hang out? Where where do I come to talk to you? Uh, we are Apache traditionalists for that, so it's our it's our it's our dev mailing list. That's where really where things happen. Uh, of course, because now the we're using the the repositories on GitHub, so a lot happens also on in pull mm -hmm. requests discussions. But we're really careful about having the important central discussions on our on our dev mailing list. It's a, it's a pretty small community. It's about 20 active committers, so the mailing list works quite well for that. And are you still uh, tightly connected with the Jackrabbit community? Yes. Yeah. Even though it's it's evolved uh, today, it's totally possible to run Sling without it and uh, use other storage mechanisms. But that's where our, our yeah our history comes from. Where do I get more information about your project and community? So if you go to sling.apache.org, that's that's where you know where you'll find all the info, hopefully. And um, also, this this Adapt2 conference is a, is great. Uh, it's it's not it's not a big event. It's about 200 250 people, mm -hmm. but it's really focused on Sling, and almost everybody who's there is working with it uh, in different contexts. So it's a, it's a great. Uh, yeah, it's a great information information exchange. It's a great size. You know, it's a single track conference, so I okay. like that. You can really meet the people, and that, that's a great way also to get uh, information. It's the next one is in Berlin at the end of September. We hope that we can run it face to face. We'll see what happens, but that's still a few months off, so we are confident. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for explaining this to us. Yeah, no, it's a very cool project, really. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, it's an old, you could say it's an old thing, but it's surprisingly uh, alive and uh, with, with a great community so that yeah, I'm very happy to be involved in it. Well, thank you, Bertrand. Thank you, Rich. Thank you very much for this interview.